Adobe Presenter now comes with a strong integration with Adobe Captivate. So if you have both Captivate and Presenter installed on your system, you will be able to record simulations from within PowerPoint. Let's look at the workflow. Here under Adobe Presenter tab, you have uh, these brand new uh, options of recording and editing a simulation. Let's look at how we can record an application simulation from within PowerPoint. So here in the slides panel, uh, select the slide uh, after which you want the simulation to appear. With that slide selected, click the record button. That will allow you to name uh, your simulation. So let's name it as a test sim and I'll hit OK. After that, you will get the settings panel in which you can define what options you want uh, selected for your simulation to be there. So let's um, do our selection. So I want to record uh, an application window, which is a PowerPoint uh, slide uh, that I'm working on. And uh, I want the size to be a custom size. So by default, it is 1278 by 720 here. I will change it to say 800 by 600 because I want uh, the, the top bar and the bottom bar and the interface elements to be visible when I have inserted a simulation in my, uh, in my PowerPoint deck. So here I've made the selection and then I want a demonstration, uh, an assessment, a training, all three of them to be added to my PowerPoint. I can choose maybe all four of them or I can decide which ones I want to add in my simulation um, as a simulation to my presentation. So let me just uh, select demonstration and training module so that I can have a show me and a try it in uh, the PowerPoint. What it will do is it will add uh, these simulations as individual slides on the PowerPoint deck. With these selected, I will um, say no to panning and no narration and I will start recording. It will give me a, uh, an alert that uh, the size is different from the slide dimensions that I have done purposely. So I will just say yes to it. Once I say yes, it gives me that counter. And now I can start recording what I want the simulation to be there. So let's um, create a small simple simulation where I will add a shape which is a rectangle. And then I want to uh, modify some properties of this rectangle. I want it to be purple color and this style. And then I want to add some text here. So I will say introduction to Adobe Presenter. Okay, so with that done, uh, this is all I wanted to do uh, for my simulation. Once this is done, I will go and hit the end key and that will end the simulation and start generating that uh, particular, you know, slides for me. So here, um, after some time in this slide deck, uh, you will see two slides appearing with uh, the Swifts generated from the simulation. So now you can see that uh, we have this message which says captured Swift inserted successfully. I will hit OK and you will see that we had this slide 3 selected when we initiated the recording and now on slide 4 and slide 5 we have the simulations generated. So you can see that uh, this uh, white a recording area that you see here is the simulation. Let's see a preview of it. You can see the preview by going to the Adobe Presenter tab and here in preview, let's um, preview current slide. You can see that the simulation is generated and it starts playing in this window. Also, you can see that the Swift is managed because uh, you see the Swift duration as 36 seconds, which is the slide duration also here. So you can see that it beautifully starts playing uh, in the preview mode. And once you publish it, you can see it even better. Also, you can easily edit these simulations. Uh, all you have to do is select the simulation that is recorded. And after that, click the edit button. This will open the simulation in Captivate program. So now here you can see that uh, the test simulation has opened in Captivate window. And now here I can go and make any changes that I want to. So maybe I want to change this text to click, uh, click, the insert tab and 
period after that and then i want to change this text to say just select shapes and click the rectangle button okay so this is uh, uh, all i wanted to do here i will also reduce the caption size okay so that it doesn't look utterly oversized and uh, i'll also move this a little out of the way so that the shapes button is visible here i can also modify the mouse point here uh, to suit my requirement i can also uh, if this is a try it or test me i can also edit the click boxes i can edit uh, the highlight boxes i can edit uh, the text entry boxes and all the elements that are added uh, in captivate uh, interface you can also go ahead and uh, delete some of these uh, uh, slides so if i don't want this slide to be there i can just go and select it and hit delete button and it will allow me to delete this complete slide from here okay with all the changes made i will just go and click the save button once i do that and go back to my um to my powerpoint it will give me a message that the changes have been made successfully so here you can see uh, that we have received this message which says captured Swift edited successfully and now when you go and preview it, you will find the changes implemented in the Swift. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope this workflow is useful for you.